Hi there folks, I wanted to show you three different production variants of Man-at-Arms from Masters of the, of the Universe. A lot of Masters of the Universe figures have this kind of evolutionary trajectory in them where they start off with extra details that get removed over time to speed up the production process. And Man-at-Arms is no exception. So over here we start with the earliest Man-at-Arms, probably the first six months of the, the release. This is one of the original eight backs, known as a red dot Man-at-Arms. You'll see on his helmet, he's got little red dots. You'll see this one also has red dots, and this one doesn't. This is the final mass-produced version. So that's the first thing you'll notice. Um, the second thing you'll notice is the length of the straps for the armor, which was another thing that we see across the line where early versions have very short tabs. Look at the length of these tabs, which didn't really help for little stubby kid fingers. And we'll see that these tabs get progressively longer throughout the production of many different lines. So you can see these ones are a lot longer than, than these ones. And then we get to the, uh, the the one without a red dot, and it's of a similar length, or if not longer, I can't, let's see, they're about the same over here. And um, those are three very obvious production differences. I think sometimes there's some differences in the shading of the belt and things like that. But um, when it comes to man-at-arms, the main thing to look for is the red dot and the length of the straps, this being the earliest of both kinds, probably one of the very first production runs. Thanks for watching.